fighting? Hell yeah. I'm still fighting. Ooh! I'm fighting now. Are, are you here to kill me? Are, are you a member of the conservatives? No. Huh? My code name is Setsuna Afsei. I am a Gundam Meister of Celestial Beings. What the? Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to do episode 8 of Gundam OO. In the last episode, it looks like the team were having a big discrepancy. Like they were gonna fight each other, but at the very end, the Gundam Meisters kind of realized that there's actually a terrorist attack going on right now, and they need to attend that. Before that, Setsuna did something kind of boneheaded, and that's only because he saw Ali Ali Sanchez, who was some kind of previous mentor that kind of scarred him for life. This is what I believe, like some kind of trauma happened, and it was just freaking up his mind, and he almost revealed, or kind of like he did, one of the identities of the Gundam Meisters, which is really himself. Not exactly sure how it's gonna pan out in the rest of the show, but I do know one thing, and only there's only one way to find out, and that's to jump right in. So let's do that. Let's jump in. Boop, boop. There isn't a terrorist attack. If the private armed organization Celestial Being does not disarm and cease its armed interventions immediately, this is I don't even know checkers chess. Whoa. All those people gone. Those bastards indeed. I'm sorry, Harl. Just leave me alone for a while, okay? Sure. I always knew stuff like this could happen, but this is just gonna turn people against us even more. Yeah? Well, being hated is nothing new. Who's this guy? We'll have to leave it to the guys down there. Yeah, what can they do though? What does she do for a living? Because I want to do that. Private yachts, all that good stuff. Why are you all dressed like that? Just think of it as a form of camouflage. And this is my favorite style. Mine too. <sighs> Boy, is it hot out here. Is she going to get a drink? Don't you have any cold beer? Oh my god. She's just a little too unconventional. She has a problem. Tough. Only we could contact those agents ourselves. Hmm. <laughs> Another problem. Another bombing. With this, the Union, the AEU, and Human Reform League have all become targets. Well, it's terrible having to just sit and wait like this. We'll have all Gundam stand by at arranged locations. Sorry, we've got to go. See you later, Phil. Haro. Hmm, I wonder what's up with her. This priority pass to sets in the FC. Curios, now proceeding to target. Damn, dude. I like how they, they get in there. They're so serious about this. Tiaria. That's how you say it. Tiaria Arde. Dynamis. Crazy. Nobody sees that. But I guess they're out in the middle of the ocean. He's right. He's just trying to be pre-prepared. Plus, I think he cares about human life too. He has looks like he has soft side. So they're just gonna sit here and wait until something might happen? Virtue has now reached the target location. Curios, maintaining standby mode. Wish this was in English, I can't, I don't know. Where are they at? What a pain. Snipe him and take his gun to him. Are you going? Of course I am. I'm gonna carry out my duty in the name of God. You'll die? What's wrong? Are you afraid of dying? That's blasphemy against God. God, and he died for God. Now his spirit shall be led into the presence of God. 
Wow, dude, that is deep. Dude, just now? You he, supposed to be driving smooth. It's like the number one rule of getting away. He's gunning it. Did she see him before? Is he gonna pull out the gat? <laughs> mm. Only a terrorist to have a bulletproof gun car. What? Do they know each other? Why did she save him? He could have been a terrorist. Why would you save him? It never occurred to me that I might meet someone else from my homeland on this trip. What? I'm from Kruges. Kruges? Yes, I see. I'm Marina Ismail. Kamal Mazarif. I think he gave her a fake name. Wait, don't leave yet. We have one of the suspects in custody. Nice. The information is confirmed. Terrorist network responsible is the European Nature Revival Group. Hmm. As I'm sure you know, Calm, we need access to a solar power generation system. But it's that very same power system that is responsible for ruining our people's standard of living. Wow. Unless we reconcile the two sides, that group will step in. Celestial being. Of course war isn't right, but the reality is that people are losing their lives in these unilateral interventions. Wow. Those people think they're God? People die in wars, too. I'm only saying that their interventions are too arbitrary. Our talks are help people die. Yes. <laughs> oh shit. It was a Zodistan that destroyed Krugis. Mmm. <sighs> His hometown. In the end, the two countries sought a peaceful solution. Meanwhile, people died. <gasps> oh no, Kong. Were you fighting ended over six years ago? You fighting? Hell yeah. I'm still fighting. Woo! Maybe she doesn't believe it, but that dude, I don't know, man. They find out who he is, they're gonna kill him. Yeah, careful. We're back to square one. A coded message from the NRO and the BND and DGSE too. Well, mistress. Clearly, it's a message from the world. They want us to act. <laughs> With our limited jurisdiction, it's not easy to take military action against terrorists. Using celestial being again. But that group is a little different. You're just gonna use them like... Damn, dude, that just can use, bro. Enemy strength is unknown. There's a chance they'll have mobile suits. Roger that. Exia commencing mission. Dissolve external camouflage membrane. Enter board. Oh, that is tight. That is tight. No, I would have never guessed that. Like, what are you gonna do with the car, man? He's gonna let it go. Beach time. Everyone doesn't like terrorists. Freak that. Surprise! All oh, those people are dead. They're 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 like sausages right now. My issue is, what if they kill a group that's innocent? Oh damn! I mean, they did kill innocent people. So. Ooh. Yeah, let's go. I like how it's just a literal sniper. That is dope. There's no mercy. Oh, no. What are you gonna do though? Oh, okay. <laughs> That's one way to take it out. Yikes. Oh man, it's gonna suck for them. Was this a plan? Whoa. 
Mobile armor. Yeah, dude, they about to. That's interesting. Oh, uh, I mean, he didn't. I mean, come on, he's underwater. Yikes! Whoa! Boom, man. If that was gonna kill you, the water would. Hmm. Oh my god, you're an idiot. Shit. That dude is insane! What is he doing? That was a threat! Like, you know my identity. I will kill you. Well, that was the end of episode 8 of Mobile Suit Gundam 00. Uh, Abor Sesuna is a little bit, I don't know. How would you guys describe him? I don't think he's out of his mind. I think he just got so tore up about his country of Frugus as well as negotiating with Azadisan, like how that fell apart and how there was a war and how a lot of people died. I think that trauma along like just people dying and fighting in war as you know, as well as him being a kid trying to believe in something that would get him through it. I think, I mean, I think he believed in Ali Al Sanchez and how he failed them. I think he's just been failed multiple times by people, by God, by beliefs. He only have one thing right now in his mind and that's just to stop war because he believes stopping war will end all the suffering all the, the negotiation and talks and stuff that doesn't help marina said it might it doesn't help he was there he was fighting as a kid he witnessed his friends die in something that they believed in maybe something that they didn't even agree to in the beginning because nine times out of ten those negotiations and talks were made by upper people like older people people in like politics and stuff like that and they just had to deal with the consequences so he's like nah we're not even gonna have that anymore we're just gonna stop war but i can't believe he told marina like yo i am a gundam meister my name is not who you thought it is it's sesuna he gave her his full government name i am sesuna i am a gundam meister and if you guys don't stop bullshitting we're gonna come and kill you that's what he pretty much said and at the end he like flew over her spaceship to make sure she knows like yo this is a gundam and you know it might not be me in it but this is a gundam and it sees you like it's real like you guys don't get to do with these talks if some kind of war happens people will die now this whole episode was all covered try to cover up or just literally explain what happened in the last episode there's some te international terrorists that are going around planning things now they were able to stomp it out the gundam meisters were able to stomp out the terrorists by fighting one dude but they haven't found the country of the nation behind the terrorists that was funding them that's what's gonna happen next or pretty soon now i don't know how it's gonna unwind but that's pretty crazy now, I guess this might be the official beach episode. There is beach. There are people in swimwear. So, you know, this is official anime. Even the title or the thumbnail in the anime, if you watch it on Hulu, that has like the, it has the big three. But I guess the gist of this is trying to figure out where is Sasuna at mentally, as well as Marina and her country is pretty much dissolving or just running out of any opportunities to find out what she can do to help her country. Because everywhere she looks, it looks like any source of resource for her. It's not gonna help because their country's not gonna benefit them. Or she just, her country's too criminally involved. There's just too much crime, too many people. Like, they might come to help, they might get shot in the back. Like in the previous episodes, like, we probably can install solar in your country, but just our technicians doing that might get killed and robbed at gunpoint. We just can't have that. That's how bad it is over in their country. And of course, she's a princess and she's trying to run it, but it's not. For some reason, I mean, she, I think she was just gave us a shitty hand anyway, but she can't really do much with it. Long story short, that was the end of episode eight. This wasn't a filler episode, but this definitely does kind of like, like, Get you thinking, like, how, where is Sesuna? Like, it, like mentally, like, what is he doing? Just tell him, Marina, just, even if it's a joke, like, he just revealed his identity. And he revealed a really important reason why he would be a Gundam Meister. That's the thing, like, you can tell a person, yeah, I'm a Gundam Meister, ha, ha, ha. But he gave a solid reason, like, dude, I was in the war with your country, and I seen people die as a kid, like, six years ago. So, me not wanting war would be a big motivation to even join the Gundam Meisters. So, she's not believing it now, but if someone told me that, and they gave me those facts, I was like, this dude is not joking. I mean, I saw him whip out a gun in the middle of the street, and the way he looks at me with those eyes are kind of intense. I would take as soon as telling the truth. But yo, that's just me. Let me guys know what you think in the comments, what's gonna happen next, how you feel about this character, how you feel about the characters in general, and yeah, how you feel about the show. But anyway, until next time, I'll, I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you then. Peace.